Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin SL TV. In this video, we will learn how to create timer, stopwatch, as well as change the color and the caption of a command button where certain criteria is met. Firstly, select a desired number of cells to place the clock. Merge them and simply type a time, for example, 00 00 colon 00 00. Colon 00, 00. Press enter and select again the cells. Go to font type and increase the font size if needed. Next, go to developer tab, click on insert and insert command button. Altogether, we need three, one for timer, one for stopwatch and one for reset purpose. We can copy and paste or insert manually. Altogether, we need three. Next, click on properties and change the caption accordingly. For example, this is for reset purpose, so we change to reset. And this is for timer, so we change the caption to timer. And lastly, this is for stopwatch. We could also change the font type and the font size if needed. And I will first set reset button to invisible, look for visible and change through to false. Next, go to Visual Basic and insert a user form since we want the user to set a time for the timer. Click on the Properties pane to look for caption and we change the caption from user 11 to place set a time. Next, insert tag box. Altogether, we need three. One for hour, one for minutes and one for seconds. Scroll down the properties window and look for form. Change the font type and the font size if needed. Scroll down again and look for X. Simply type a number, for example, 23. And we adjust the width and the length accordingly if needed. Delete the number and copy, paste. Altogether, we need three. Move to the desired place. And now we insert labor one for our so change the caption to our change the font type and the font size if needed. Copy and paste so that we have exactly the same format. Change to minutes, increase the size if needed. Lastly, for the seconds, change minutes to seconds. Press enter. Back to the text box and simply type a number and we should realize that sometimes the number in the text box and the words in the label are not aligned at the same level as we can see here. And regardless how do we adjust the label, we are not able to move to the desired place. But this doesn't matter, we can scroll down and look for the top position. We can change the number and to the desired place as we can see here. We just have to adjust accordingly until we obtain the desired place. Lastly, we need a command button to execute the timer. Go to the properties window, look for back color, click on the drop down. You can make use of the system color or the palette. Choose the desired color, scroll down and look for caption, change command button 1 to start. Also, change the font size and the font type if needed. Click on OK. Next, double click on the command button, read the time set by the user and transfer to the selected cells. We can make use of the cell reference method, refer to a sheet clock, which is sheet number two. We type sheet two dot cells. And what we need here is refer to the first row of the selected cell, which is row number one. So row index we type one column in text is column c which is the third column and we set equal to the time set by the user we can use the text join method join all the text in this text boxes we need text box one two and three so what we have to do here is to call the text box so we make use of me dot text box one the me here refer to user one and we can use emphasis to connect in between string and we need colon in between the numbers but we cannot simply type colon 
but we need to use quotation marks first so that the colon can be treated as string and we join them up. Followed by emphasis again, now we need me dot text box number two. Again, emphasis followed by the colon. So again, quotation marks, colon, quotation mark, and emphasis to connect the last text box. So me dot text box number three. This method might run into error if user did not provide the information that the Excel recognized. For example, the user input 75 minutes instead of 1 hour and 15 minutes. To overcome this issue, instead of using the text join method, we can perform simple calculation. We add the values together, but then they are in different units so what we have to do here is convert all of them to seconds so to convert minutes to seconds we times 60 to convert hours to seconds we times 60 times 60 or in other words we times 3600 next we use the date at function to set them as time we need interval as string which means that we must use quotation since we need string and the interval here is in terms of seconds so we put s remember to put comma and move to the second argument number as double this is the interval that we need and we move to the back and comma the date the start date so we put zero we start from zero seconds and what we need to do next is to format them according to the format that we need so we use the format function and the expression is the time that we added next is to move to the last part put comma and we input the format as string so use quotation marks over colon minute colon and second close bracket another issue we might be facing is when the user run the timer they did not provide all the information needed for example they ignore hours and seconds but only provide 75 minutes and click on start they will obtain error since not all the text boxes are completely filled with numbers to overcome this issue we can run through all the text boxes and set those empty text boxes equal to zero so we need a dummy me here first define dim c as control and we run through the controls using for loop for each c in me dot controls next is to check the name since we have more than one control on this user form so we should check if the type name of this control is equal to the text box or not remember to use string so we need quotation marks if this is the case then we should again check if the value is empty or not so the value in this control is it empty if yes then we should set them as equal to zero so c dot value is equal to zero so we start with if we must end with if start with if again end with if so we have to and if here then for the first c we should proceed to the next and we should now have no error also provide only 75 minutes and click on start as we can see the time will be set according to the format that we want 1 hour and 15 minutes now let's write a code to close the user form so we type unload me next is to write a code to call the user form let's back to excel under developer tab click on design mode double click on the timer button all we have to do here is to type user form one dot show to create a flexible command button we should consider three conditions firstly to show the user form secondly to pause thirdly to resume so we are going to use if function to call the command button we can refer to sheet 2 clock and the name of this command button is command button 1 so we have sheet 2 dot command button 1 dot caption we should refer to the word on this comma button so we should call caption and set equal to timer remember to use quotation marks since this is referring to a string 
then we should call this user form. If we want to provide option to pause, then we should change this caption to pause is equal to pause. If we want to change the color of this command button, also we can copy and we should take dot back color and we set equal to VB red. If we want to use a combination of RGB instead of VB red, simply click on any cell, go to the fill color, click on the drop down and we look for more colors. Simply pick a color that we desire under standard, for example, this color, and we move to custom and we can check the combination of the RGB, the red, green, and blue. So what we have to do next is back to VB and we type RGB and use the combinations that we checked just now. Next, I would like to change the phone color to white. So we copy, paste, and this time we use dot for color and set equal to VB white. Next, let's consider your user instruct to pause. So we should use else if. We can copy whatever we have. So we copy this so that we don't have to type again. If user instruct to pause, then we have to pause. So which means that we should end this process. Before we end, we should change the color and the font. We can copy whatever we have and paste and we change accordingly. So we should change to resume. Since currently it's pause, so which means that user is allowed to resume if needed. And I will change to green color to indicate start and change back to black color. Don't forget we have a reset button that we set invisible previously. Remember to set visible when user select pause since they have the right to reset the time. So we have to call the command button which is command button 3 shift 2 dot command button 3 and we should set visible to through. If the timer is initiated we should set as false which means that invisible and the last condition is when the user is struck to resume it's supposed to have exactly the same command as timer except to show the user form so we can copy and paste add else and paste so we start with if of course we need to end with if now we can write the could to initiate the timer and I'm going to use a new procedure for example the name is countdown put under timer as well as else which is for resume where we should initiate the timer we can add the procedure at the bottom part of this procedure what we need here is start by giving a name sub the name that we use is countdown. So we have countdown. Next is to use loop and condition to run the timer. So we should first make use of dummy set a to equal to true. And we just have to do while a is true. If we should check the timer. So the timer is at 1c. So we have sheet 2 dot cells which is row number one, column C, which is the third column, is equal to the time which is zero, zero, and zero. Then we should end the process. So we should set A to be equal to false. If you want to prompt a message false, saying that times up, of course can. So we have times up. Since all the while we run the timer with format, when we make comparison, make sure we use format as well. So the format that we use must be exactly the same as what we formatted before. So we have alpha, minutes, and second. If not the case, so we have else, and we should make a countdown, make use of application.fade. So we wait for one second starting from now. Add hashtag 00 for hours, 00 for minutes, and 01 for second. We just want to wait for one second. And now we should update the cell. So the cell is 1, 3. And this is supposed to be equal to, we make use of the date add function 
to update the cell. So we make use of the string interval, which is in terms of seconds, comma minus one, since we want to drop one second, and the start date should be exactly the same as the current cell. So we update the cell from the current cell. Remember to format, so we must format according to what we previously did. So we have our minutes and second. Remember to use quotation marks since this is in terms of string. Remember to add the code to events so that we are able to press the command button while the timer is running. We start with if, of course we need to end with if and we loop this process. I'm going to copy this code and paste it before a is equal to false since we want to reset everything the times it up. So we need to set back to timer and I'm going to make use of a combination of RGB instead of simply the color. For example, we have 0, 153 and 255. Next is to set the reset button to invisible since we just wanted to start the timer. The same instruction should be given to the reset button, which is the command button 3. Let's copy, go to object, click on the drop down and look for command button 3. Make sure it's click and we just have to paste the code here. We should add another code is to set the time back to 0 since that is a possibility where the user want to reset the time after pause. So we have the format 0 for hours, 0 for minutes, and 0 for seconds. We have done the coding part for the timer. Let's move on to stopwatch. Double click on the button. We can make use of the code that we made previously. I'm going to copy starting from application.fade until the line where we update the time. However, we should bear in mind that for timer is to measure the time left. So we minus. But for stopwatch, we should measure the time elapsed. So which means that we should add. Also, we add the loop. So we can have do while. If let's say we don't want to use by exactly the same dummy, for example, A, we can use B. Also set B be equal to true. And we need loop. And now we can set the condition. If also refer to the command button, sheet 2 dot command button, this time we refer to command button 2. But then also refer to the caption, C vector equal to stop watch. If yes, then we should perform all this. We could provide option for user to choose whether they want to stop at any point of time. So I'm going to copy the line that with red. So we copy and move down and paste it here before the loop and change accordingly. So instead of using pause, we should use stop directly. Also refer back to red and white accordingly. But then we should change the command button. Should be command button 2. For the command button 3, which is the reset button, should also be invisible which is false if not this case we should have else and what we have to do here is to end since not this case means that the user instruct to stop then we should end this process before we end we should set the reset button back to visible so we set to true we start with if of course we need to end with if and we can now consider the command button to under the reset button so i'm going to copy and paste it here we can ignore the visibility of the reset button since we already set it here we don't have to repeat again for the stop we can change to stopwatch instead of using wb red we can set a particular color by using rgb let's say we don't know the combination you can go to home, click on the drop down of this field color, look for more colors. Select a color, for example, this, move to custom and read the value. What we have to do next is to transfer the values to VB. So we have 102, 153, 
comma 255 close bracket and for the full color I'm going to change to black since we have done the coding part let's back to Excel and see the result of the design mode click on timer to set the time let's say we pick 10 seconds click on start as we can see the timer changed to pause with red color click on pause the reset button is visible we can reset everything set according to what we've designed start again the timer we can choose the time for example we pick a five seconds click on start again change to pause click on pause we have the reset button and resume we continue the time and time's up at zero click on ok everything set to according to what we designed how about the stopwatch we can start and stop at any time with reset button reset everything back to what we designed okay that's all for this video thanks for watching have a like this see you